We justify and defend our thoughts with the same degree of intensity with which we justify and defend ourselves. Whoa. As a man thinks, so is he. Therefore, before any deliverance can be truly be accomplished, we must honestly recognize and confess our need. Amen? What is our need? Our need is to be set free. Our need is to serve Jesus. Our need is to escape the realms of the devil. Faith principle for pulling, pulling down strongholds. 2 Corinthians 10, 4, 5 gives us two important things that help us to tear down strongholds. The first one is bringing our thoughts into captivity. Third time I said this now. Bringing our thoughts into conformity with Christ. And the second one is obedience to His Word. Amen. Obedience to His Word. 2 Corinthians 10, 4. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the kingdom of God, bringing every thought into the captivity to the obedience of Christ. Glory be to God. Romans 3, 4. Certainly not. Indeed, let God be true, but every man a liar. Isn't that the truth? God is pure. God is holy. God cannot lie. Well, people do, don't they? <laughs> people do. As it is written that you may be justified in your words and may overcome when you are judged. Now this is very important what I'm going to say now. I want you to understand this. The only one who has the right to shape our lives is Jesus Christ. Amen? We must determined to allow nothing and no one to shape us, not even our personal experience, unless they are consistent with the promises of God. If you were not healed, listen to this now, if you were not healed, a stronghold of unbelief could set in. That's why a lot of people don't get healed. That's why a lot of people around here don't get healed. When they go to a healing crusade, that's why a lot of white people don't get healed. Because of unbelief. But if you bring your thoughts into conformity with God's thoughts, the stronghold will break and with faith will come forth. If we have a problem with a brother or sister, listen to me, and forgiveness is not enacted, bitterness and resentment will settle in, won't it? And that's a sin. That is a sin. Obedience brings us into the stronghold of Christ's likeness. The Father's goal Listen to me. The Father's goal is breaking the strongholds in our lives and much more simply seeing our burdens or the devil taken off our backs. The specific purpose toward which God steers the working of all things in our lives is our conformity to the image of His Son. Amen. That's what we want to do. Glory be to God. Romans 8, 29. And we know that all things work together for good for those who love God to those who are the call according to His purpose. Amen? He foreknew, He also predestined to be conformed to the image of His Son, that He might be the firstborn among many brethren. Hallelujah. James 4, 7. Therefore submit to God, every one of you, Therefore, submit to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Amen? He'll run from you. Glory be to God. We must learn that on a personal level, it is better to develop godly virtue than to spend our day praying against the devil. It is the joy of the Lord that defeats depression. Amen? It is the joy of the Lord. That, that defeats depression. It is the living life of faith that destroys unbelief. It is aggressive love that casts out fear. Building a stronghold of Christ's likeness involves a struggle, doesn't it? The process of, of getting free of worldly and freshly stronghold involves a season of inner conflict and turmoil. I know most of you have gone through that. This is a good sign signifying the desire of your of you 
will be to be free. Amen? You want to be free. Glory be to God. We should expect a time where we must exercise our authority in Christ as we resist the devil. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. 1 Peter 5, 9, 5, verse 9. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him steadfast in the faith, knowing that your same suffering are experienced by your brother in the world. As you continue to yield yourself to Christ, he will remove Satan's armor from your mind. You hear me? You understand it. He will show you what you need to bring down. You'll see that in the that the weapons of, of your warfare are mighty to the pulling down of strongholds. Now, did you understand that? Did you get the notes down? You can go back and study and understand, glory be to God, that you can begin to operate in the realms of the Lord God. Hallelujah. If you're Watching this, you say, who, who are you? We're Circle of Love Ministries here in Jacksonville, Florida. 13519 North Main Street. Telephone number 904-696-3105. Our zip is 322-1A at Circle of Love Ministries. We'd love your support because we have heavy bills here. Electric bills are running tremendously high. We really need your help. We're a discipleship ministry. If you've never been born again, I want to take this time to invite you to get on your knees right now. You say, well, how can I do that? Well, pray with me. Let it come out of your heart. Let it come out of your mouth. These words that you pray. I can't save you. Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. I repent, Lord, of my sins. I ask for forgiveness, Lord, for every sin I've ever committed. I acknowledge, Lord, that you are the Son of God. And I ask you, Jesus Christ, to come into my heart and my life right now as my personal Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for writing my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Now, you that need a touch of God, you that need healing, I want to pray for you right now. I want you to put your hands on the part of your body that needs a touch from God. God says, I am the Lord that healeth thee. Father, I pray for those that are being obedient now, that they're putting their hands on the part of their body, Lord, and I pray, God, right now, in the name of Jesus, that you would heal them from the top of their head, Lord, to the soles of their feet. And Father, I thank you, God. Until next time, God bless you.